will ever know what is in the heart of a dog. This is the story of a great love. The love of a dog for one man. A love that was to prove even stronger than life itself. Shep, we've hit it sure. No, keep going. I forgot to peer the shaft up. Come darn near being the richest corpse in the territory. <laughs> Come on, girl. We're heading for town. Just wait till you see Frank Blake's eyes when we tell him he's a millionaire. <laughs> Well, Jonathan, how are you? Merry Christmas. How about it? On the house? No. Well, how about you, Puff? <laughs> Can't call you Puff anymore, can I, fella? Can't call her a fella, neither. Say, that's right. <laughs> Excuse me, beautiful. Well, how's it going, Jonathan? Shipping me ain't complaining. Uh, Steve, has Frank been around tonight? Frank? Frank Blake? You're right back. Jonathan Harvey? That's right. I'm Lynn Taylor. I'm sorry we couldn't let you know, Jonathan. Martha wanted to, but there was no way of finding you in time. Time for what? Frank's death, Jonathan. Over a month ago in the morning. Tommy worries me, Jonathan. You know that he's never once cried. If he could just let it out. We'll work it out, Martha. We'll find a way. But right now, what about this fellow Taylor? Lynn's a fine man. He's been wonderful. Why did Frank take him in as a partner? He had to. Lynn's buying in when he did kept us from losing everything. I see. Does that make him a partner of grub steak right? Yes, why? Jonathan, you've made a strike. I got something to show you. Who 
Come in. Hello, Martha. Come in. Jonathan's inside. I'm so glad you're here. Jonathan has something to show us. Yeah. Look at this. I found a vein of that. If it's deep enough, it could be the biggest strike this territory has ever seen. That's why we've got to file a claim, and quick. File before it's proved? If you file now, and word gets out that you struck ore like this, every claim jump in the territory will be in those hills in a week, before you're sure yourself that you've hit the main vein. By gad, you're right. <laughs> Thirty years of mud scrabbling, and when I do find the glory dust, I go off half cocked. Mr. Taylor, Martha's right about you. And right now, you can start working and being a partner by lining me up some supplies. Of course, John. Anything you need. I'll meet you in the store in a half hour. All right. Good night, Martha. Good night, Lynn. If it's all right with you, Martha, I'd like to talk a mite with Tommy. All right, Jonathan. If there's anything you can do. <laughs> got his way of doing things we just can't have. I didn't want to cry. You go ahead and cry. I used to do it myself sometimes, before my tears all dried up on me. Now, how about Chef here? Those hills up there, that's no place for a dog. Leastwise, not Chef. It isn't? No. Lonesome. She likes folks around. Fact is, she just plain ain't happy up there. Uh, as for me, well, I'm better off alone. Lots of times, the dog is nothing but a darn bother to me. A bother to you? Shep? Now, what the hell's you, Shep? Now, go on, go on out here. You get away. Now, go on, get away. What I'm sand washing up to with all this is, how about taking her off my hands? Will you do it, Tom? Will you? You're no liar, Jonathan. I can't take Chip from you. He's your dog. Nobody else is till she dies. Thanks anyway. And look, don't tell anybody I balled. Will you please? Honest to Christmas. We didn't do so good. All right, it's Christmas. And giving is part of Christmas. Anyway, you are a father to me. I'll be quiet. And don't look at me that way. Christmas, Ma. Look. Yes, dear, I know. Dear Tommy, I put it up to Chef. She agreed with me. She's yours. Merry Christmas from Jonathan. Where is Jonathan? He's gone, sir. Gone? Is it all right, Ma? Can I really keep her? That's what he wanted, Tommy. I'm sure.
wrong with her, Mr. Bald Eagle? What's wrong? Kamuk's weak sick. Lili yaka helu nanes yaka tayi. He say dog shall not eat because she want to go home. Said Jonathan. Ayazulo. Nimlus pus yaka helu nanes Jonathan. He say dog starve till die if not go Jonathan. Thanks, Mr. Bald Eagle. Thanks. Merci. Goodbye, Red Wing. Bahayak. Ma, we've got to get her to Jonathan. Please, Saring, take her. Please, Ma. Well, I don't know, dear. How could you ever find him? Shep could. She knows where the claim is. But she still couldn't go alone. I'll take him, Martha. Be glad to. Gee, thanks, Mr. Taylor. You hear that, Shep? We're going to take you back to Jonathan. Now you've got to eat and get strong for the trip. Here, take some. You've got to. Thanks, Ma. Ma, look! She's eating. She's going to be all right. <laughs> So weak, I couldn't get food any longer. That's what was wrong with Shep. She knew. She wouldn't eat. She made us bring her here. Ma's right, Jonathan. Shep's your dog, and nobody else's. So I'm giving her back to you. Right now. Never mind the dog, Tommy. Tommy, you rustle up some wood. I'll see about the food. I'm all right, girl. And thanks. Taylor, I guess you'll wonder how our partnership's been going. You were right. I'd have been a fool to file that claim. Vane petered out in a week. So I just kept working upstream, surface stuff. Hardly worth a man's time. I'll show you. Tommy, go on over there by the show. Now slide that chest out. The board underneath will lift up. Take them out. Look inside, Tommy. How much is here, Jonathan? Oh, not much. Only around about six thousand. Six thousand dollars? And plenty more to come. Six thousand. You say that's just from gravel? You still haven't found the main vein? No, but it's up there. I aim to just work upstream until I find it. And I will, as sure as your name's Lynn Taylor. Jonathan, do you realize what this means? It means we're rich. All of us. Sure we are, but that's not what I'm talking about. You need help. Now, look, I'm starting back to town tomorrow. I'll take this gold and deposit it in all our names. It'll be safe there. And I'll be back. Why, with proper equipment, we can take that gold out ten times as fast. All my life, I've waited for something like this. And I'm not taking any chance on losing it now. channel across there and build a sluice box below the rapid. Let her go, Tommy. When do you see one day's take from this baby, Taylor? Just wait. Thank you. 
out there. Sure, the same fellas you've been hearing for three days. You said to yourself there are other prospectors over in Oak Valley. What if they got word somehow that we've hit it? Sure. A little bird flew down and told them. So they came running right back here so they could dig up all our pretty gold right in the driving rain. You may think it's funny, but I don't. And from now on, we're keeping a guard here at the cabin while we're up at the mine. We got to. All right, Taylor. Then you stand guard. Tommy and me will work the mine. Or maybe that'd worry you, too. You'd be wondering if we were losing some of it before we got here. Now, ease up, Taylor. Stop worrying. The richest dust in creation is no blame good if you kill yourself getting it. Now, go on, get some sleep. I'm going to. Inside, searching around, snooping. For food. I would have prepared the table in the presence of my friends. This is Pilot Pete, Taylor. You'd been longer in these hills, you'd never have made that mistake. Don't make it again. Come on, Pete. Let's see about that supper. You a regular person, Mr. Pete? Regular? No, son. Making up as irregular as it come. You gotta have roots to be a regular person. Me, I ain't got the roots of a tumbleweed. Two things I love above all else. The Lord's mountains and the Lord's sinners. So I spend my time in one looking for the other. And I sure find them. <laughs> Here, lady. Better leave Shep alone. She never makes up to strangers. She don't? Here, here, lady. Here, lady. Well, you got it wrong, Brother Taylor. Thou sawest the beast that was and is not. Revelation 17, 8. Well, there's plenty of love in this dog for them that loves her. Ain't the Shep. Or maybe she just likes my stew. <laughs> <laughs> Pete? This is from all of us. Well, in his name, I thank you. Jonathan, Tommy, Mr. Taylor, and you too, Lady Bear. <laughs> the Lord be with you in all your labors. 
Lay not up for yourselves treasures on earth, but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven. Matthew 6, 19. Get up, Gabriel. Goodbye, Mr. Pete. Goodbye, Pete. Goodbye. Work for the night is coming. Work through the morning hours. Work while the dew is sparkling. Tommy, you go down to work. I'll be alone. Well, you gave him dust. That's a dead giveaway. We struck pay dirt. The old fool talks. He won't. Pete knows the law of these hills, too. And he lives by it. You could try doing the same. And until you do, I'm taking that gun. I keep my own gun. You're edgy, Jim. You're getting worse every time more gold goes under that floor. And ain't just being scared, someone will steal it, neither. It's having to split it with Martha and me. You're crazy. Only a quarter you keep thinking to yourself. I only get a quarter of it. And Jonathan gets half. That keeps eating at you, Taylor. I've been watching you, and I know. That's why I'm taking that gun. No, you won't do that. There's two reasons why you won't shoot me, Taylor. The first, you won't find that vein without me. And the other, the other is just a hunch that you haven't got the guts.
want you to take this to your mom. Tell her I said for her to file it right away. It's a description of the claim made out in all our names, hers, Taylor's, and mine. Is there anything wrong, Jonathan? No, this is just in case someone gets the bright idea of filing only in their own name. Oh, Mr. Taylor. But well, remember, whatever happens, not a word to anyone about my daughter, even your mom. Promise? Now, come on. I tell it. Hurry up. Tell your mom not to worry. I will. Bye, Jonathan. Shep, where are you? Shep, what is this? What ails you? You know, between us, we gotta take care of that boy. He don't know these trails like we do. Oh, it ain't for good this time. You're coming back. Now go on, get. I sent Tommy home. The kid's getting lonesome for his mom. What's all the excitement? Jonathan, that thing we've been looking for, if it was up there, what would it look like? Well, uh, no, I'll tell you. The sheer face of the cliff, white quartz, the whitest you ever saw. And in it, jagged like lightning, a vein of pure gold. Gold, Jonathan, that white. It's up there, so help me, I found it. It's up there waiting for us. Where? At the head of the canyon, way up. Well, let's go. <laughs> just beyond. Let's go. the ledge. Shep. Here, Shep, come here!
What's the matter with you? Where have you been all day? Looking for Jonathan? I'm afraid he won't be back, Shep. That doesn't mean you and I can't be friends. How about it? Better be my way, Shep. I'd rather not have anything happen to you. Might make things harder for me to explain. Get away, I tell you! I said get away from there. Get away and you get what he got.
hungry, huh? I figured that'd bring you around. And I got something all ready for you. what you want? So that's the way it is, huh? Hold 
eagle in town. Find quick. Maybe he saved dog. Ah, Please, Mr. Bald Eagle, isn't there anything else you can do? start a slide that would cover the gold forever.
What are you doing here? Where's Jonathan? He's gone. He, he's been gone for three days. Where? I don't know. Over towards Blue Mountain somewhere. He, well, he might pick us up a deer for me through the winter. But I heard his whistle. You couldn't have. Shep must have, too. She was barking. Where did you see Shep? The Indian kids found her. She was almost dead. From poison. But she's all right now? Yeah, but I knew Jonathan would want to know, so I brought her back. Mr. Taylor, are you sure he's not here? I know I heard. I told you, Tommy's not here. Jeff! 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 Here's Jeff! Why don't she come in? I know she's out there. Don't worry about it, Tommy. You're tired and upset. Good night's sleep, and you can start home in the morning. Sit down now and rest. I'll fix you some supper. Saddle my horse, Mr. Taylor. I'll be right back. All right, Tommy. Shep, what is it? What is it, Shep? Is that you? Anybody that? Shut up, you! Help, Jeff! I said, shut up!
Tommy. Come on now. Drink it. You're all right now. Here. Drink, Tommy. Drink it. That's right. That's fine, boy. Get away from me. Leave me alone. Listen, son, you've got to listen to me. There's nothing to be afraid of. You're here, perfectly safe. And I brought you here. Now listen. You've been scared, Tommy. I know that. And it's my fault. But that's... That's because I was scared, too. So scared that I... I almost lost my head. A man can be scared, too, Tommy. Even of a kid like you. Especially if that kid gets the wrong idea in his head. And you've got the wrong idea, son. You lied. You said he was hunting. Yes. Yes, I lied. You know why? Because I knew you loved Jonathan Tommy. Almost as much as your own father. So I... Well, I didn't know how to tell you just like that. Jonathan is dead, son. He was working up in the canyon and he fell. It was an accident. Two days ago, I found his body and, well, I, I buried it where you saw. I was coming in tomorrow to tell you all. Shep. Where's Shep? <sighs> Shep's all right. I saw her outside a while ago. Shep was like you, son. She got the wrong idea, too. So let's, let's both of us forget about what happened tonight, shall we? I guess so. Sure we will. Now you get some sleep, and you'll be fine in the morning. Just sleep, son, and forget the whole thing. Steiner and Carl Crane. This runaway come into their camp over in Oak Flats last night, and I thought I remembered he was yours. They was breaking camp for winter anyway, so on the way into town, figured we'd cut across the ridge and fetch him back. Why, hello there, Tommy boy. Hi, Mr. Pete. Gee, I'm sure glad to see you. We both are, Pete. Mighty glad. And thanks for bringing the horse back. Sure. Where's Jonathan? It's a good thing you men came along. Come inside. I'm afraid I got some bad news for you. And in thy heavenly kingdom, Lord, let him find peace. That peace which passeth understanding. Let the gold he sought on earth be his in heaven. The pure and shining gold of thy holy grace. We ask it, Lord, in his name. Amen. Tommy and the dog back for me, I'll probably stay on up here till spring. For everyone's sake, I'd like to prove Jonathan was right. You see, he was sure there was real pay dirt here. So far, we've never found it. And Pete, do all you can to help Tommy, will you? You know, kids sometimes imagine all sorts of things, and Jonathan's accident hit the boy pretty hard. I'm sure you understand. I do indeed, Mr. Taylor. Pete, he's lying. Don't believe him. Please don't believe him. It wasn't an accident. Jonathan didn't fall. He killed him. I know he did. Pete, he's lying. He's lying about everything. Tommy. 
Why, the boy's hysterical. He hated Jonathan, and he killed him. And last night when I found out, he tried to kill me, too. He's lying, Pete. Tommy, listen to me. You say I wanted to kill you? Where did you sleep last night? Who picked you up when your horse threw you and carried you to the cabin? Why, Tommy, you slept six feet from me the whole night through, safe and well. Does that sound like I wanted to hurt you? Answer me. Pete, don't believe him. He did do it. Shep knows, too. That's why I tried to poison her. You don't believe me. He said the claim didn't pay out, but it did. There's bags full of gold in the cabin, a dozen of them. If that's true, guess you can show us some. I will. Come on. something with the rest. You better take these back to Martha. I was holding this, hoping that uh, they'd have a bigger haul by spring. There is more now. A lot more. Mr. Crane, can't you see he's lying? Mr. Steiner, don't believe me. Please don't believe me. Yes, we'd better be going. Please, Mr. Pete. Come on, son.
Keep trying, son. Sure. 